Hi, this is Adam Lane with PocketNow.com, and we're going to look at a software tour of the HTC Fuse on AT&T. First off, just take out the stylus and it'll turn on. And what we have here is a customized version of HTC's TouchFlow 3D. You can see it's light gray in the background with an AT&T logo. The clock is a little different than what you've seen on the Touch Pro and Diamond. But we have uh, similar icons down here. Now you can just tap on the selected one and drag across to switch to different panels in TouchFlow 3D. So here we have people. You can flip this way and that way to flip through. This one is email. Pretty much the same. You see the light background kind of doesn't give you much contrast between the email icon here text messages is black text on a light background. You can flip through by going up and down that way. Next one is an AT&T logo. This, sometimes you might confuse this with the Globe logo here because they both look very similar. You know, a circle with lines on it. The one that's an AT&T logo has AT&T applications and application folders. So this one goes to our AT&T mail type applications, and it's hard to know what they are because they're not really familiar icons, and there's nothing labeling them, so you just have to guess. Okay, next icon is Internet. This will open Opera. You get some pre-populated favorites here. All right. Next one is music. Very similar, uh, except we have a light background here. Now, so we're playing some music, but the audio is not on. Okay, there's your volume control. Now I can go to the library, go to artists. Now, say I want to search for somebody. Um, I would really like to be able to open the keyboard and type in the name of an artist that I'd want to search for. But, oh, my library's gone. And there's no way to stop the music from playing either. No options there. Music, ah. So I have to fly the keyboard back up. Go back over here. and then stop the music. So that's kind of a pain with the landscape version of TouchFlow 3. Next we have weather. And again, light background, there's not much differentiation here, so if it's cloudy, all you see is light gray clouds on a light gray background. This one is programs, and it is also pre-populated, but you can add some more here and you can edit them. Photos, very, very much the same as uh, Touch Diamond. And then we have settings at the end. Now, you may have noticed the order is different than the Touch Diamond and Touch Pro. We have settings all the way at the end. Now, your most important ones are at the beginning and the end. So, apparently, AT&T thought the settings were more important. So, see, it's easy to just flick all the way to the end and even off the edge to get to that settings page. Alright, now let's look at the landscape version again. Much more plain email, messages, bookmarks, web search, calendar, tasks, notes, contacts. You see we don't have a notes or task capability on the, home, the portrait version which is weird. Those just print up in the regular Windows Mobile applications. And that's pretty much it for here. Uh, luckily, the keyboard has a Start Menu Access and OK button. But there's no soft key hardware buttons here. So, in order to access menus, 
you have to touch the screen here, which is annoying. Okay, there's our photo album, and it's very similar to Touchdown, exactly the same. Now let's go into the programs. This is flick scrolling capable, and AT&T decided to remove most of these, most of the programs in the listing, and put them into subfolders. So you see, messaging doesn't open the messaging application right away. It gives you another subfolder of icons. Same with music. Games, you get a lot of trial wear. Some full games. Backup program. Mobile backup. And World Card Mobile for scanning business cards and doing optical character recognition. Messaging we already looked at. Uh, you'll notice the Instant Messenger is the type that uses text messages. GPS, you can download the AT&T Navigator. Tools, most of our office stuff is in here. We have an Acrobat Reader. Java Supporter, we have Jet Set Print. So you can print to wireless printers. Network printers. That's a really good feature. Quick GPS, full version Sprite backup, remote desktop, lots of great business related tools here. Cellular video. This goes to a web page. It's loading Opera here. And you can play some streaming video here. Pretty nice. And we also have push to top support. So that's it for the HTC Fuse software tour.